In this lesson, you will smash a wine glass, then slow down time to hold on to the big splash. This effect involves both an RBD simulation for the shattered glass and a fluid simulation for the wine. You will learn how to set up both of the dynamic simulations. Visual effects often involve a combination of different solvers. To start, you will draw a polygonal curve, then revolve it to create the wine glass. Creasing will be used to sharpen some edges, and then you will extract geometry from the wine glass to create a shape that you will use to simulate the fluid. Finally, you will model, then position, the bullet. To define the cracks in the wine glass, you will use the RBD material fracture node to break up the curved shape. You will set up two impact points to focus where the shattering occurs. An exploded view will let you review the fracturing. You can then use the bullet to smash the wine glass. This will involve setting up an RBD simulation. Now that the glass has been smashed, it's time to convert the wine object into a fluid that can be simulated as a liquid. The shattering glass and the bullet will act as colliders for the wine. At first, the fluid will be represented by particles that can then be surfaced to visualize the fluid. For this shot, the goal is to have the simulation work in bullet time where it explodes, then goes back in time to the starting point. You can accomplish this using the retime node, which works as your time machine. You will need to set this up for all parts of the simulation, including the glass, the wine, and the bullet. In the end, you will export the parts to USD. To render the shot, you will bring the exported USD files into the Solaris stage, then add a backdrop. Solaris is the context of Houdini that uses LOP nodes to set up the USD scene graph. Next, you will add and position a camera, and then an environment light. The Karma XBU renderer will then be used in the viewport to preview the shot. Let's get started. 